Passion Jesus 56 is Jesus the only mediator. 3 Mints English translation of Passion Jesus 56 Is Christ the only mediator between God and men? Yes, he is, he is the only mediator. It is he, God who became man. So we can see that, in his unique being, there is the divine nature, the Son, who is only turned towards the Father. The Father being the origin of the whole Trinity. There is human nature, which is turned towards men, so that the bridge, the particular priest who bridges between the Father and humanity, the only one, is Christ. In him there is indeed mediation. This is why we can call him, because it is the name of the mediator, we can call him, a priest. He is the priest, according to the order of Melchizedek, the one who takes the prayers of man and leads them to God and the one who takes the grace of the Father and gives them to man. Why is he the only mediator? It is he who takes the initiative for this mediation. It's God alone. Man could never have hoped or asked for God to become man. He does it. And so he says it, I came to pick you up. In this sense, this mediation is unique, absolutely irreducible to others. Just be careful. Among Protestants, this mediation is unique, period. They take it, this dogma, and they absolve it to the point that no one can be a mediator anymore. They go so far as to say that the angels, in the book of Tobit, who carry Sarah's prayer to God, and who descend, this is the angel Raphael, to save Sarah from death, these angels are part of an apocryphal book that they take out of the Bible because it was written in Greek, or whatever. So, what to answer? It is very curious. They often ask, find me a single example where someone mediates in scripture, a heavenly saint or an angel. And we find, there is a mediator, between the Father and Jesus, during the agony in the garden of olive trees. Jesus is in such agony that an angel appears to him and consoles him. It is a role of mediator. Now, he's only an angel, a servant of God, who sees God face to face, okay, but he's only an angel. What does it mean? That in fact, the only mediator who is Christ, the first thing that he will do, and that's how it is in God, is to give his power to his friends and to make them also priests, mediators. Hence this prophecy which dates from the Old Testament, I will make you a kingdom of priests. And so the next question will be to ask, are Mary, the saints, the angels, co-mediators, priests, with Christ?